Well done, as always, Audrey. Boy, that'll put a smile on your face on an otherwise kind of chilly day. And chilly a, right now. And a tear in your eye. That was very emotional. <laughs> My goodness. Turn wow. into an icicle if it, if Beautiful. it lingers. Beautiful, yes. <laughs> You know, today we had some clear skies across the area. Beautiful blue sky. We'd be thankful for that. Enjoy that story from Audrey as well. You know what? Tonight, those clear skies are going to be cooling things off very quickly. And we've got a big change coming up heading into the weekend. And it includes some rain that's going to impact the latter half of your weekend. The timing right now looks to be Sunday, Sunday night for some heavy rain, significant rain lingering into Monday. Some one to maybe as much as three inches of rain. It looks like right now an isolated thunder possible winds also gusty at times 20 to 35 miles an hour. Right now it's quiet with high pressure. You can just start to see some of the clouds from the west and from the south that will make a difference in our weekend forecast. You can see the warmth too out to the west and we are going to warm up in the coming days. Right now though we're cooling off. We've got 41 at Meadows of Dan, 45 in North Wilkesboro and 41 in Pilot Mountain. Now temps are in the upper 30s already in Reedsville. So a quick cool down 42 in Burlington and High Point 45 in Winston Salem. Closer view here of the satellite it shows you dry conditions and it's been a dry week, but you remember when we had that rain right last weekend, some one to three inches across the area. Well, the latest drought map has been released and we've had some improvements. This was the map and conditions last week. Severe drought all the way up into Virginia, covering the mountains, foothills and most of the triad. But because of all of that rain that we saw earlier in the week, we have seen some improvements with that. So now the severe drought a little bit farther south and west and that leaves a large part of the triad now in the second stage of drought which is moderate and then abnormally dry conditions down over Davidson and Randolph counties. Now we've got another weather system coming in. We were just talking about that for Sunday and that one could bring several inches of rain to the Carolinas. In the meantime, it's quiet, right? The late evening temperatures are quite cold, though. We're down pretty close to freezing, so make sure if you do have some evening plans, you've got some layers, and you'll need them in the morning, too, because once again, we are in the 20s to start the day, 29 in the triad, but quickly getting above freezing by 9 a.m., and then noontime temperatures are in the low 50s. Tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 50s, close to 60 degrees, which is actually a pretty nice December day. Your Friday in the foothills is sunny with a high of 56, and we've got sunshine in the mountains. A bit cool, definitely to start at 30, but then with a high of 53 in the afternoon. Now, we do have clouds increasing as we head into the latter half of the weekend. Uh, we're going to be bringing that rain in. So you see the clouds down to the south. Storm system hasn't even developed there yet. A low pressure will. And then we've got a second one here that's going to track across the deep south. So two of those together are going to impact the southeast. So for Saturday morning, we're going to see those clouds kind of pushing in by Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Overnight we get rain into Sunday morning and a pretty soggy scenario setting up for events that you've got for the weekend. So if you are headed down to Charlotte for the Panthers game, make sure you've got your rain gear. We've got wet weather Sunday and Monday, and this forecast could change a little bit with the timing and the intensity of this storm. So we encourage you to make sure you touch base with us over the next couple of days. Laney, thank you. Checking traffic. Here's a live look. This is Highway 52 at MLK Junior Drive in Winston-Salem. Roads are.